Hey everybody, it's Avis Cherie and I'm coming back for a Bite Me Aligner update. It is week seven for me and you guys know that means that we are washing our hands first, taking our old aligners out, our carrying kit, and we're going to store them in our handy dandy filing system, which is in your Bite Aligners personal aligner box. This was week six, I dated it. And they're going in the filing system now behind all the others in chronological order, all right? Hope everybody is well. I hope you're not getting bored with my weekly updates, but um, hope it helps. If somebody didn't have the opportunity to catch week one, they can tune in every week and catch my weekly updates as I transition out of my aligners. You transition from week to week. My week is Wednesday to Wednesday. Before we get started, I would like you all to subscribe, like, and share my videos, my multiple playlists for my Ava Sheree channel. You'll find inspirational videos, food for your soul vlogs, also my Fibro Fighter and Chronic Pain Chronicles. Uh, you'll also get the Bite Me Aligner process, my personal journey, okay? So as you guys know, I am on week seven. So today's date, I will put on the front of my aligner packet just so I can reinforce my memory because I have brain fogs and memory farts like everybody else or brain farts. So we're going to say we start at 9, 16, 20 and I will always know that and I'm going to next rip open my new aligners. I'm excited. Week 7. Uh, you guys can see that it's week 7. And let's see what we got going on. Now, I'm going to tell you about week... Shoot, I dropped it. Hold on. This is why we watch. So, I'm going to tell you about week six. Week six was definitely a page turner. Um, my that I felt the pressure immediately when I put the aligners on in my front two teeth. And that pressure was like pushing, suction and pushing back. Like keeping them going back. Kind of retraining and refocusing them on how they've been sitting. And the pressure was like this okay so the whole week it felt like that when i took them off even when i'm eating and i'm talking i still feel it um i also did a video for you guys with all my pictures from the date of my impression kit to show you what my original smile is or was all the way up to um i think i had like a few weeks of different um shots that i took of my mouth outside of my videos to just see the progress for myself, for my family, for people that I'm referring to by it. I wanted to be able to see the ship. So um, I was going to post it, but I think I'm going to wait. Um, I I want to see how this top is going to line out. I think I'm going to go a full 10 weeks or it may be before, who knows, but I want to see the shift. I want to see a more dramatic change. I will I, say this. We all noticed the appearance of our teeth changing. So it's not that. I just want to be for sure before I put a picture up and confuse people um, or be like, oh, your mouth didn't look bad before or it looks the same. I'm gonna be able to see the ship. So you watch these suckers out. As you already know, we do not play when it comes to think putting things in our mouths, people. People always like to share. People always like to, you know, do whatever they do with their mouth and just don't understand the bacteria and the disease that our mouths carry that can impact the rest of your body. So, hold on. Hey guys, I am back. As you know, you wash your hands before you start every process. I'm getting prepped to put my aligners in. I extensively brush my teeth. I also make sure that I floss before I do my video because that's disgusting. Who wants to see me like trying to get this stuff out? Um, I gargle. Ooh, I forgot to gargle, hold on. So yeah. I found it really important to gargle before. Um, when I, before I insert my trays, after I've brushed and flossed, and I also find it important the morning of, if you don't already have a gargling system after brushing, that's fine. But it just, I wanna clear out any bacteria, any disagreements between my breath and the aligners, you know, and my mouth, any disagreements between my mouth and the aligners. I don't want no sores, I don't want no bacteria being stored, none of that. All right, so, this is my week seven upper tray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Front first. Very tight. Very tight. Remember, in the beginning I used to file it down in the back. I haven't had to do that in the last 
two trays, I think, or three. And they submitted third. Go back in my videos. I don't think I had to do it. I didn't do it last week, and I don't think I did it the week before that. Okay? That is the whitener dissolving in your, the cleanser and the whitener. Bite. Bite me aligner, whitener, and cleanser. That's what that is. And it dissolves on its own. You don't have to spit it up. Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. hell no. Mm -mm. So, hell. Forgive me, guys. That shit hurt. Mm, I felt like I broke my tooth. Mm mm. Child. Mm mm. Y'all seeing it firsthand because I got to take it slow with this one. That shit hurt. Okay, let's see. They said front first. Remember that, guys. Put your aligner in, front teeth first, and then push it down to the back. Okay? And this was hard to get off. I felt it right here. It hurt. It's on. It's not another reason I didn't post the pictures because um, my, my my smile is widening like my 3D scan said it would. So I wanna see how this works out before I post pics. Now that it's on, it's okay. Um, there are liners. I typically can talk from mine. I find a way because I talk all the time. And yeah, that initially they hurt, but they so dead and spot on. It hurt when I put them on, I popped them out, right? I put them back on, front teeth first, and it, and it clamped onto my teeth, but it was a shock that it clamped so heavy. So that's why I popped them out, because I didn't want to force it over my tooth, and then it's not even right, or I have to get it remade or anything like that, which I have not had to get any trades, remade, remade, none of that. So now that it's on, let's let it do its job, you know? I'm talking, I'm not sitting over here like, oh, I can barely take it. It's going to be a shift. It's going to be a change. Um, they did clasp down. They are clutch. And as you increase through your weeks, they will get tighter and tighter and align what needs to align. Remember, guys, we're moving and shifting things in your mouth that has not been moved or shipped since they fell out and you got your adult teeth, probably. I don't know. Um, but then they shift on their own over time. And even with people with braces, if they don't wear their liner, they shift back into the original form of your mouth and your teeth. So, you know, you gotta go with the punches. Try not to give up on yourself too soon or um, give in to the pain. Cause it's really the pain level is not, it's just the shock of the discomfort. Um, and discomfort only lasts, I talked to you guys a long time after I put my vital liners in. It's not like I'm going to get out there and be like, ooh, ooh, shit. Nah, I tell y'all when it hurt, like that hurt, I popped it off, let's see what's going down, okay? No, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm going to tell you 100% the truth. So that's where we're at. Week seven. That's the information on the back. And it's going in my front. This should be the only one in your front um, that's open because you follow the rest of them and you're keeping all of them in the back. Okay, so remember that. Don't throw them away. Do not throw your older liners away. Okay? So, prove to y'all don't hurt. Comfort? Yes. Pain, like, oh my God, I'm rocking in my bed. I can't do this no more and waste 2000 plus dollars. No, it ain't worth wasting that because it don't hurt that bad, okay? And don't hurt at all, it's discomfort. Okay, so let's see what it do. We're going to watch what it do, what it do. And I'm going to go to bed early. I'm trying to get on a new schedule with these aligners, okay? All right, talk like I got a list. But I'm trying to get on schedule with these aligners because I was hungry as hell. My husband and I have been like starving, looking at the sunrise so we could know how many hours we have before we can go downstairs and make breakfast. Because we don't snack and eat after a certain time when we get these, put our aligners in at night. So now your body, we're losing weight, which is a great thing. Um, we're trying to stay fit and now you're starving like Marvin. So yeah, so it, it, it ain't got to the hangry phase yet, but I'm trying to go to bed early. Even last night, I was going to pop them out about 2 in the morning and try to get something to eat. And I said, I'm not going to start a, something habitual because I'm going to start making accommodations for every little thing. And I'm going to find myself, one, my treatment ain't going to work. And two, I'm going to gain weight. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. I'm going to sit my tail down, drink this water or this lemon water, which when you got stomach pains, that make you cramp. 
So I just went to sleep. I went back to sleep, used the bathroom, went downstairs, refrigerator, took a surveillance, all the stuff I could get into, and walked out the kitchen, turned off the light, and came back upstairs when we took myself to sleep. Okay? All right. Be disciplined, be obedient to your treatment, and be wise about your investment in yourself. These are an investment. Okay? Mm -hmm. Always lick your lips before you do your bite me videos. I call them bite me. Don't steal that. But always lick your lips before you do your bite aligner videos, vlogs, whatever you're doing. Um, lick them like LL. Okay? Because you don't want the little white line right there looking like lip gloss and chalk at the same time because you just, what? Wash your hands, brush your teeth, sanitize your mouth, which means gargle, floss, no, floss, then sanitize your mouth and gargle, and then you put your liners in. By that point, your mouth is dry right up in here, your lips is dry, and you got the white line. You got the, how you doing in the morning line. You got the hot breath line. You got the, I don't know if my breath stick or not, but my lips just so look like I've been sucking on some powdered donuts or licking a chalkboard, okay? So... Just want some humor. Get ready for your new regulated sleep schedule. Hopefully, you'll be more productive. You wake up early. Take these suckers off. Have a nice egg and some toast or something in the morning. Get your day started right. Until next time, this is Ava Cherie. Guys, love to you. And I'll see you on the flip side.